So hi everyone. I'm back with a new different question, uh, which is of the subject PDE again of CSI NET 2022. Okay, so let's start the discussion. Okay, so we are given here with a partial differential equation that is of second order. It is x square del square u by del x del y plus 3y square u equals to 0 with the conditions, Cauchy conditions that is ux comma 0 equals to e raised to the power 1 by x. And we have to choose the true statements from the given options. Okay, so we are given with the options that the PDE is not linear. And we have to find the value of u at 1, 1, that is u is the solution of this partial differential equation. And we have to say about this method of uh, solution, like from which method we find the solution of this differential equation. Okay, so let's start the question. Okay, so as you guys can see that this differential equation that is x square, x square del square u by del x del y plus 3y square u equals to 0 as this is a linear partial differential equation because uh, you know uh, there is no product between dependent variables and all so this is a linear differential equation linear partial differential equation as it is a linear partial differential differential equation so option a is wrong so option a is not correct not correct okay so in the second option we have to find the value of u that is a solution of this partial differential equation so here we will use the method separation of variables to solve this particular partial differential equation. So, we use the separation using separation of variables so, so, so to start the separation of variables we assume uh, u as a solution of this partial differential equation as function of some product of function of x and function of y okay so now u x y will be equals to x dash dot y dash okay and then Putting these values in the given partial differential equation, that is, we'll be getting x square x dash y dash plus 3y square x into y equals to 0. So, by separating the x and y terms, we will be getting x dash by x equals to minus 3y square y by y dash equals to some constant say k so that is k okay so now taking first and third fraction taking first and third fraction that is x square x dash by x equals to k okay so now separating these also and integrating of course integrating we will be getting ln mod x equals to minus k by x plus some constant that is c1 okay and similarly for y also taking second and third fraction and partitioning these terms we will be getting minus 3y square by k equals to y dash by y and again integrating this differential equation we will be getting um, minus y cube by k equals to ln mod y 
and that will be eventually equals to y equals to e raised to the power minus y cube by k some constant c2 okay so from here we can see so this is our x that will be equals to x equals to e raised to the power minus k by x some constant c1 so this will be our x and this will be our y so now eventually our solution u of x comma y will be equals to x of x into y of y and that will be equals to c1 e raised to the power minus k by x into c2 into e raised to the power minus y cube by k and that will be eventually equals to c some constant where e raised to the power minus k by x minus y cube by k where c is equals to c1 into c2 okay so we got our u x comma y that is a solution of the partial differential equation and now we are given with the conditions that u x comma 0 u x comma 0 equals to e raised to the power 1 by x okay so in that case that will be equals to c e raised to the power minus k by x and y is 0 so that will be 0 okay so comparing the powers of exponent function comparing the powers we will be getting k as minus 1 and c as 1 okay so by putting these values in the solution the solution will be equals to 1 e raised to the power 1 by x plus y cube so this is our u x comma y now we have to find the value of u at 1 comma 1 so u at 1 comma 1 will be equals to e raised to the power 1 plus 1 that is e raised to the power 2 okay so in the question u at 1 comma 1 there are two options e raised to the power 2 and e raised to the power minus 2 so e raised to the power 2 option will be correct so b option will be correct and c option will be wrong and as we used the separation of variable method to solve this partial differential equation so the d option will also be correct so the answer will be b and d thank you